It's undeniable that there are some cities that give great face, and New York City is definitely one. This is probably why so many feel the need to take so many pictures of it. I find her beautiful, even when she's not trying to be. In such a busy place, a city that never sleeps, the wonder of being a person who does capture it all seems like an exhausting dream. But not for these guys, photographers Albert and Minnow, who are just going through the motions of another day and operating your own business. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> Albert's role as a photographer has gained exponential success with over 70 weddings shot in the last handful of years alone. After a few years as an accomplished architect and musician, he decided to pursue photography as his full time passion and has since had his work published in a few magazines and continues to work tirelessly wherever his work may take him. This can also be said of Minnow, who also forged his new path in professional photography out of a meant-to-be situation. I was a project manager um, at an advertising agency for photography, and I got laid off. And photography was a really serious hobby, and so I said, you know what, let me just try doing photography, and that was that. Having also formed his own prosperous career, capturing beautiful life moments, Minnow very much was meant for this, and I would know as he's photographed some of my own happy life moments, too. But in a client list that includes the Wall Street Journal and several clothing and apparel companies, it's a true testament to his talent and hard work ethic. The two now share an office space in Midtown Manhattan, which serves as the flagship location for their businesses, and where it just might send the stereotypical flashy New York City photography business gotten from TV into orbit this space is all for them. And of course, with a few casualties of just people who travel for their work a lot during the year. But it's also equipped with a celebratory bar, of course. <laughs> all work and no play means Albert. A very dull boy. A little celebration. Of what? What are you celebrating? That you're here. Create and Plate is in the house. With plenty of things always on deck, there's always still more to be done. As they both travel consistently throughout the year, the day that I came to visit was a day to reboot and do some test shots. A quiet canvas in the city isn't always easy to find, but luckily these guys have one right upstairs. <laughs> what? Apparently, somebody left up a little love note this time. It happens, and we don't have any of those with us today. And with that, the guys get to work on this beautiful rooftop with the city as their beautiful backdrop. Shooting mostly on digital format while working, it doesn't seem to lessen anything from circumstance. But the true artists that they are, these guys still have some good tricks right up their sleeve. me because of the way I see the world, mm -hmm. the most understood, the most uh, democratic, the most um, you know, easy medium cross-culturally. Always be a creative, and photography for me, uh, even if I venture into other things, is going to be uh, the medium that I love the most. But even in the age of digital, there are some qualities that even the most clever of filters can't emulate. Case in point, check out that awesome Polaroid camera.
Despite what they say, you should never shake a Polaroid picture, ever. <laughs> For a good time. <laughs> okay, do you guys think you'll keep doing this for the rest of your lives? Good question. Mm -hmm. I think for me, photography is telling stories, and I'll do that in one way or another. I picked up photography without ever thinking I'd make a career out of it, but I think telling stories is what I want to do. And the medium matters, but it doesn't matter as much as telling stories. The busy life of a working photographer continues on, and it looks like they'll be doing so as long as there are stories to tell. And for others, the passion lives on in other ways. Beautiful house. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Those nuns know how to keep good ground. Hartsbrook Preserve, once belonging to the Archdiocese of New York, recently became open grounds to the public and a perfect place to bring out one's inspiration. So we've got a maze, you can walk the maze. The labyrinth. Laura and I grew up together not too far from these grounds. After working many years in the photo industry, she recently decided to turn the page and forge a new path. This is my Nikon FM2. It is my favorite camera. I love it very much. Although now studying to be a nurse, it hasn't halted any of her love for the work. <laughs> All in the name of art. Laura's photographs span over 17 years of practice, and the reflection in her pictures are always a true depiction of beauty, not in digital, but mainly pure film. But her most captivating work to date, at least the one that I find, is her perspective on the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy. After the storm hit, like many, she went out to help in the areas that were hit the worst. And upon her trips to Staten Island and Breezy Point in Queens, she managed to capture moments within the heartbreak that were insightful to the human spirit. And even months later, we were still witnesses here to some of the aftermath it left behind. Regardless of life's twists and turns, Laura maintained her love of photography with not a memory card, but with a manual camera and film. Definitely one of the rare ones these days. Lesson on what it is you do. So, let's Lesson. check out. Learning what you got is fun. Here. With the 35mm Nikon FM2, I've got a roll of 400 speed black and white. So, you set your shutter speed here, mm -hmm. and you set your aperture here, literally point, and you take the picture, and then you advance to the next frame. Photography is pretty much, well, it is entirely a study of light. Only because of a passage in The Stranger by Camus. Mm -hmm. He was blinded by the sun, and that was always like really resonant with me, which is a horrible story. I mean, it's a horrible action, mm -hmm. but I do always look into the sun, and I always like shooting into the sun. Cause I find that when you're shooting into the sun, the lens sometimes will move the light. You get like that, uh, you get like the reflection mm -hmm. and the uh, like the halo effect, which is part of why I really like shooting into the sun. I've always liked art, and I was never very good at drawing. When I was like 14, uh, I start, our, our art teacher started building a dark room in our high school um, and I just kind of was very interested in what she was doing so my father and I went out and I actually, he bought me my first camera. I guess it looked older because my professor at that time couldn't believe what I, was, like, what I was doing. He was like, you're too old, like you should be making much better work. And then I told him I was 14 <laughs> and uh, he kind of shut up a little bit. I always liked science. And I've always liked art, and I found that photography was the, um, the perfect blending of the two. And I also really love the notion of, of something happening at a 25th of a second, a 500th of a second. It's like such a tiny moment, but so much can happen in that moment that you can kind of express with photography. It's part of why I don't like digital very much, because I feel like you take a photo and it just stays on the card for years and you never look at it, you never really have to do anything with it, but when, you, when you've created a negative and there's this little chemical interaction, interaction happening in a box that you get to bring out in a dark room, mm -hmm. it, it becomes something you're very personally connected to. Um, well, I'm going into nursing, but I don't think I'll ever stop being a photographer. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think I'll ever stop shooting. I actually think the term photographer is, is maybe losing its application in my life, but I don't think that I'll ever stop taking pictures. Mm -hmm. So your photography will be with you all your life? Yes. Yeah. I will try very hard to never stop using film. 
<laughs> I, I think that it is a far more beautiful result and I will always try to do it. A picture may say a thousand words, but here's one other way I find best to capture a moment, and one that definitely links everyone together. Very much looking forward to bringing them back to Brooklyn where I will enjoy them and my chihuahua will try to eat them. Whatever the background and whatever the city, like they said, as long as there are stories to tell, they won't stop taking pictures. And I'm all for that. Just as long as your eyes are able to look up and take it in too. Because in the end, your story is all yours to make.